Good morning students. I will be your new teacher, Sasha. Today our topic is Harmful Effects of Computer. Effects on Younger Generation Computers are a source of entertainment. Young children spend hours behind a computer screen sitting all by themselves in a closed room rather than interacting with others. Many of them have become so addicted to computers that they have even given up playing outdoor games. Extended computer use deprives children of physical activity, increasing their risk of obesity. There have been concerns that excessive computer use may stunt the development of social skills and interpersonal relationships. Though the use of social networking tools such as Facebook and Twitter have made these concerns largely irrelevant, children need guidance to make sure they get the proper experience. Due to the sheer amount of information available on the internet and the number of people using it, letting children use this technology unsupervised can negatively impact their psychological health. The presence of online predators targeting children has been widely publicized by the media. The negative effects associated with computer use can be largely eliminated through proper supervision of computer use. Thus, it is important that educators, parents and other adults who work with children become computer literate and understand ways to guide children to make good choices with regards to computer use. Effect on Workforce Technology is the source of all progress. People and organizations have become dependent on computers to connect them to co-workers, vendors, customers and information. Computers are used to track schedules, streamline information, and provide needed data. Computers have provided workers countless tools for business and easier access to information nearby or abroad. Due to the prevalence of computers in the workspace, email is now a common mode of professional communication. This has caused a plethora of miscommunication issues. Many workers are so dependent on email that they have not successfully built a positive foundation relationship via FaceTime or phone calls. Computers and automation lead to a large number of workers getting replaced by automatic machine. Displacement of workers led to social unrest. Learning new computer skills and programs can put stress on workers, especially older or less educated workers. A large number of workers trained in new technologies are required. The worker in a factory is now required to handle and operate automated machines rather than just work with his or her hands. The job market is shifting in favor of the young rather than the old and experienced. Almost everything that we come across, from a magazine to music, from painting to a mobile phone, from a notebook to a new dish recipe, nearly everything was imagined and created by someone. Now the question arises in mind is that why should copyright be granted? Now let's take an example of an artist who paints beautiful paintings. He comes up with a brilliant idea and after his 10 days of hard work, the painting is ready and liked by everyone. Now a photographer clicks a picture of the painting and starts producing prints. Then the original artist will not be able to make his living. Here is where the copyright law comes in. The copyright law recognizes that any work created by an individual is the property of the person who has created it. No other person has the right to use the work without the permission of the owner. The original creators of 
products and anyone they give authorization to are the only ones with the exclusive right to reproduce the work. Plagiarism, the act of presenting someone's work as your own, even if it is not under copyright, is plagiarism. Easy availabilities of information on the internet encourages people to copy what is available and present the information or creation as their own. Some plagiarism may also be deemed as a criminal offense, possibly leading to a prison sentence. Many countries today don't even have proper laws to protect copyright. However, this problem cannot be controlled by laws only. As a responsible citizen, we must understand and respect copyright. Well, that's it for today's lesson. Hope you all understood. I'll see you next time with a brand new topic. Until then, bye!